down. Mess oh, with me now, Tom. Tom, hey. <laughs> oh, I'm making you a morning. Tom, I'm not afraid of Take it, Suzanne. <laughs> Tom, of course, another train is going by right at this very moment for the past 24 years. <laughs> For the past 24 years, Vermilion, Ohio has been home to the annual Woolly Bear Caterpillar Festival. The population goes from 12,000 to 160,000 when the festival's around. We've got a special treat for you. Dick Goddard, the local Fox weatherman at WJW for 30 years, predicts the weather with... Okay, we'll do the audio here. Uh, I, I'm seeing many puppets that show up for our annual Woolly Bear Festival. Now, how did this festival get started? 1973, you went to the local frog jumping contest down at Valley oh. City on the way back. I told my Julie and my uh, daughter, Kim, how about a Woolly Bear Caterpillar Festival? They said, why not? Okay, well, we have some <laughs> videotape, actually, of the festival that was held on October 6th. Tell us about it while we're watching it well, here. Well, it's a, a wonderful event, and there's the Edison High School band from over here at Milan, and it's fun, it's family, it's free, you can't beat that. We get over 100,000 people now. They raise the in the Woolly Bear 500. There's a queen. Uh, there's one of our teams this year. The theme was a tribute to the Cleveland Browns. We have a wonderful time, and there's Big Chuck. And uh, there we have some more contestants and uh, some of the winners and losers. And actually, we have some of the winners of this year's competition right here. This <laughs> is the animal look-alike. Okay, we're not going to hear. Is it important in this area, Jack? <laughs> well, it's been important in this country because at one time we were an agrarian society. People grew their food. They had to know how, well, who is that? <laughs> oh it's like the boss. But keep moving. Make a poor target. But anyway, <laughs> they needed to know what nature was going to provide for them. They wanted to know if they were going to actually starve during the, uh, the winter season. They needed to get as many uh, clues as to what nature was going to send their way. And they didn't have the weather channel. They didn't have that or the local weather guesser, but they but did, they did have, have these. Somebody evidently along the line said, you notice these caterpillars, they have a, an orange kind of band in the middle. They're dark on either end. I've noticed if they're darker than they are light, it means a lot of snow. Conversely, if they're light colored, very little snow. If they're fat and fuzzy, it means a cold winter, skinny, scrawny. Ah, yes, winter. But look closely yeah. now through the magnifying glass. Pay attention, Bob, especially okay. 13 segments. That means 13 weeks of winter. How about that? Wow. So what's the winter going to be like? Cold and snowy. Oh, okay, say that. I, I think we knew that. <laughs> Thank you. It's quite the phenomenon here, you guys. Thanks to Dick Goddard for joining us. Hey, Thank you, you much, day Suzanne. For you, Bob. <laughs> I want to hear that Woolly Bear song done with James Brown backing her. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> Coming up later. Lori? Also, okay, we're going to go a few... Well, people in Kansas and notice up to eight yeah. inches of white Very stuff sad. fell on yeah. Kansas City, giving them their worst. Hey, look, Wilma. But we know it is sooner or later. The weather cooperated in Northeast Ohio today for Dick Goddard's big morning on national television. Fox After Breakfast is broadcasting live from Northeast Ohio all this week, and today. The focus was on Dick and the Woolly Bear Festival. The king of all weather took the Fox crew on a live tour of Vermilion, complete with this year's Woolly Bear King and Queen. Look at them. Fox After Breakfast airs week weekdays at 9 a.m. right here on Fox A. That was so good, and you were so yeah. funny, and it was oh, great. Really? I, well, you're big time. Coming up an hour and a half sleep last night, I wasn't sure where I was. But I think <laughs> several people had to remind me, but that was wonderful out yeah. there with Will. And the Woolly Bear, Marine Co., Pam Cooper, Charlotte Popovich. Uh, I, I could go on and on, but I'd better not. Yeah. All the Woolly Bear uh, people that made it go are out there. We were today. very excited yeah. when we gathered around the TV this morning to see Uncle Dick. Couldn't wait to hear what I was going to say, yeah. but I guess it went all right. Suzanne right. Wong was happy with it. She's yeah, a young cute. lady. Nice. She's a cutie pie. Yeah. She's now the parade marshal in there. <laughs> <laughs> Trap. <laughs> and the same time now, I'll be popping National out. TV shot, and you got upstaged by a train. <laughs> a train <laughs> I knew it would happen. The Woolly Bear Express. We've got a special treat for you. Dick Goddard, the local Fox weatherman at WJW for 30 years, predicts the weather with this caterpillar. Thank you. To no one's surprise, Dick was a big hit, but his Woolly Bear winter forecast was a big flop. So, what's the winter going to be like? Cold and snowy. You were just spectacular. You're I not think, just saying that, I'm are not, you? I think I can get huh? you on Rosie O'Donnell next. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Geraldo. I'll, I'll go, know. I'll go. All right. Dick Goddard, next Geraldo. What do you think, huh? Well, we've got to be really short. Really short.
just lose the worm, though, Dick. You know? <laughs> Dick was great on he, that. He really was, yeah. yeah he's you, got a future in the business. You, you know, yeah. Gary, suggested <laughs> that you, Gary suggested you make video copies of those and peddle them at the local stores, but I told him oh. you already thought of that. <laughs> so that'd be a big seller. Sure. That's that our news great. at six. Lots going on tonight. Let's get together.